What up, guys? Uh, first of all, let me explain myself a little while. I've been gone for a long time. I've, I think the last video I made was uh, before the Super Bowl, I think the week before the Super Bowl. And, uh, of course, I think you all know what team I pulled for. I'm not in the, oh, root for your division. Yeah, root for the NFC East. No, no, I don't root for the NFC East. I root for the Dallas Cowboys. I don't root for the fucking NFC East. So, yeah, I was a Patriots fan for two weeks. And, uh, like, the last Super Bowl, the... Patriots and Giants face each other. It was an epic win. You know, I hate the Giants, but you know, congratulations, Eli Manning. I can never, ever say that you suck. This is it. I can never say that. I think that you're sometimes, you know, too, given too much credit because you have such awesome receivers. But I... Man, I can't... I, fuck it. I can't take it away. Take anything away. You have two Super Bowl rings. Tony has zero. It's fact. I'm going to live with it. So, yeah, I had to disappear for a little while. And I'm not hiding from anything. I'm not. I just needed to disappear for a little while. This season was a stress test, more so than the year before, because the year before we just sucked. This year, we had chances to win, chances to win. We just couldn't get it done. We had we were given the division a couple times, and we just couldn't do it. So, I just needed time to take off from YouTube for a little while, but, you know, I decided right now, literally off the spot, Spare the moment, I needed to make a video. Anyways, free agency is tomorrow. We are going to sign our players some new contracts. Hopefully, Robinson's going to get a good, you know, new contract. I think I, I'd pay him not too much money, but he was a solid number three. Had instant chemistry with Tony Romo. Jason Garrett likes him. Give him a Patrick Creighton type of deal. You know, five years, $14 million kind of thing, you know. Um... Tony Fiametta, another one. I want to bring him back. Solid blocker for DeMarco Murray and Felix Jones. Um, but you know what I expect us to do in the free agency tomorrow? Damn near absolutely nothing because that's what we're good at. The Dallas Cowboys do not do well during free agency. Either they don't do anything at all or they give too much money to one guy. Roy Williams. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Anyways, um, because recently I just found out that the NFL took some cap space away from us, as well as the Redskins. They're spending a lot of money on free agency. So we're going to cut Terrence Newman. I just know we are. We're going to cut Terrence Newman. What are we going to replace him with? Either the draft or nothing. That's my opinion. Now, personally, what's the dream guy I want out of the free agency? Mario Williams. Come on, guys. Wouldn't that be fucking epic to get Mario Williams opposite side of DeMarcus Ware? Come on. Anthony who? <laughs> Come on. Mario Williams. That's not going to happen. But wouldn't that be epic? Oh, yeah. Um, Colton Finnegan's a good pick. I mean, same thing with Brandon Carr. Both good corners. Better than we have right now. Better than Terrence Newman. I'd take either of them. Now, when it comes to the draft, I've had a couple people talking about this. The, uh, Dre Kirkpatrick has come up, so is Janoris. I think it's Janoris Jenkins. Both good corners have character issues. But the same thing, kind of same issues that people had with Dez when he was in the draft. And I love Dez, but I don't, I don't think we need more than one Dez you know, <laughs> type players, you know, um, when it comes to his character. If it, if it had pure talent and his, their character wasn't in the way, fine. Because players in the Cowboys have a character. I wouldn't say issues, but they they kind of character issues. Like Michael Irvin, he had kind of character issues, but he didn't let it display on the field. You know what I'm talking about? Dez will, will let it display on the field every once in a while. And as long as Drake Kirkpatrick and Janoris Jenkins or those kind of guys don't display on the field, then I don't think we have anything to ask for more than just show up on the field and don't get in trouble outside uh, on the off season or outside the field. You know, outside the field. Um, so those guys are a maybe. Um, the guy that I want personally, because I, like I said, our, our secondary is bad, but I think you got to start from, you know, the egg of the chicken, which comes first kind of thing. A solid pass rush, solid pass rush will help our mediocre uh, secondary. Our 2009 defense toward the end of the season. Um, back with Anthony Spencer, we thought he was going to be our solid guy, the opposite to Marcus Ware. He and Marcus Ware in that defensive line created havoc for, for quarterbacks. And it made our secondary today, just three years ago, Pro Bowl corners. 
And then the next year, the pass rush went down. The corners were terrible. I mean, this our secondary was awful. Okay. So what does that tell you? It tells you pass rushers actually make the corners look really well because it's not that they're covering well. It's just that the, the ball is not being thrown their way. So I think that a pass rush like Courtney Upshaw from Alabama, if he makes it to 14, I, I think we're idiots not to take him. That's just my opinion. We're idiots if we don't take Courtney Upshaw. Um... I've heard, also heard David DeCastro. That'd be another good pick. Guard. I uh, forget what school, actually. But, um... They're already projecting us to either pick Kirkpatrick or DeCastro. DeCastro may not make it to 14. Who knows? So, I don't know who we're, who we're gonna pick. Um, anyways, guys, I'll make another video later on. Uh, uh, maybe this weekend. But let me tell you something. We're gonna have a fucking tough schedule next week. Uh, not next week, fuck. Next year. We face the AFC North. Steelers, Ravens, Browns, Bengals. We face the NFC South. Saints. <coughs> Saints. <laughs> Saints, fucking bounty. Fuck the fuckers. Um, the Saints. Atlanta Falcons. The Panthers with Cam Newton. And uh, the Buccaneers. Not to mention, we had the Super Bowl champions in our division, and uh, a really great up-and-coming up team in the Eagles. And also, not to mention, we might be facing RG3. We're going to have a terrible fucking season next year if we don't get the players we need and don't improve quickly. Just letting you know. Anyways, guys, I'm back. I'm going to be making more videos uh, once free agency starts. I'll be definitely back for the draft. Uh, like I said, guys, sorry for, sorry for being gone so long. All right. How about them Cowboys? Talk to you guys later. Peace.